Alright, hey guys, Danny here and in this video, everything you need to know about the iPhone 11 lineup and why I believe one of these should be perfect for anyone considering or even plan on upgrading their older iPhone in 2022. Today we'll be going over a quick overview, the price, the good, the bad and stick around to the end for my personal take on whether this is worth it or not. So for anyone who has been following the channel for some time now, you know how obsessed I am with Apple products, especially about the ecosystem. I've made a couple of videos in the past covering older iPhones. You can check those out if you want. Links in the description. But today we'll be talking about the 2019 flagships iPhone 11, 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. So let's start with the design. Um, apparently, or if you haven't noticed, this is where the iconic back design of the new iPhones actually started with the three camera setups or the two camera setups at the back. And yeah, this kind of still looks up to date even if it's an older iphone and really you can't tell from afar the difference between an iphone 11 or 12 but maybe you could tell if you see the 13 because the camera lens are a little bit bigger and diagonal but this has the same notch design the build quality still feels premium with rounded edges until the newer iphones that have flat edges personally i think i think i will prefer the rounded edges most people prefer the flat edges maybe people like mkbhd but i think personally i will take the rounded edges and i think the only difference when it comes to the iphone 11 11 pro and 11 pro max is actually just the size there are more differences though but i'll mention them in the course of this video all right so when we talk about the specs this is where you start to see a lot of differences all these iphones the iphone 11 lineup come with the a13 bionic chip with 4 gigs of RAM, which in today's standard is a very decent chip. The A13 Bionic chip is actually good in today's standards, when it, especially when it comes to like gaming on this device. Newer titles like Apex Legends have just dropped. This phone literally handles that very well. All these are IP68 water and dust resistant, but the Pro models can actually do more. Just like a slight increase in the IP68 rating. Not something you could tell, but yeah. Battery on this device is also vary, but the Pro Max as expected will be the one with the most battery capacity. Alright, so when we talk about the cameras, like I said, this is the beginning of the iconic design at the back with the three camera setups, having a 12 megapixel wide, a 12 megapixel telephoto and a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, specifically on the Pro phones. So photo quality looks very decent in today's standards. You can't really even tell, depending on the situation, but I don't think you can really tell the difference between an iPhone 11 camera and a 12 camera. Maybe when it comes to night mode, that's when you see 12 doing a little bit more and i believe apple perfected what they were trying to do with the video quality from the iphone 11. video quality on this is very good and like i've said and many other tech reviewers have said the iphones currently have the best video quality on any phone facts so quickly let's talk about the pricing on this device these can't be tagged as a budget phone currently you can't even say the iphone 11 is a budget device it just doesn't sound right but when you are trying to get the iphone 11 i would personally say you should go on to ebay or amazon or even the refurbished store on apple apparently they even say buying a refurbished iphone is better for the environment every company these days is trying to make everything better for the environment which is good though but yeah so i'm going to leave links and places you could buy the iphone from in the description and yeah those links in the description are not affiliated yet but yeah so look when we talk about what's good about this device, I think majorly you're going to see good things about the device than bad. But first and most important for me is the performance on this device. Like literally, this has to be one of the most responsive and fast phones you could actually get. Uh, you see a lot of people going for the iPhone 10 and the iPhone 10X, 10R and stuff. But I believe the iPhone 11 is a better choice for anyone looking for it more responsive device and like i said this phone is not too far old and still handles recent apps and games very well the camera on this is very good in today's standards and finally what i think is another important part is software support uh with ios 16 just around the corner this will handle it very very nicely when we talk about what's bad like i said earlier a lot of things are not really bad about this device you have literally have not much to complain about with this device maybe some people want to complain about the notch but personally i just feel this is a very good device nothing to complain about performance wise camera wise gaming okay so personally i think most people are going to have problems with the price being a 2019 flagship they should be expecting the price to be a little below 400 dollars but 
apparently i think this goes for around 600 or even 500 dollars i don't know but you could find good deals on aliexpress uh gg or even ebay i'll leave links in the description the battery might also be on the downside for most people but honestly this is a very good device regardless and honestly there's not much to be said about this device there's no bad things to be said about this device tell us your experience if you have one in the comments down below we would really love to hear what you have to say to be honest in 2022 i believe the iphone 11 lineup is still worth considering especially if you can't afford the new iphone 12 and 13 really it still holds up very well and doesn't look like a device someone should be calling old but i know for a fact that not everyone can avoid this still and that's perfectly okay and that's why i made these videos on the much older iphone 10 and if you still like to consider an android device then you have the older samsung galaxy s10 plus which i believe are devices that still perform extremely well even after all these years of release both videos are on screen right now so watch whichever catches your attention the most and yeah thanks for watching peace and i forgot to mention this video was i was literally trying a new method of scripting like bullet point scripting and i just realized that i was rambling a lot so forgive me this video is all over the place and yeah bye